Dear students, in this video, I will answer your question number one from Pearson and Excel International A level exam for Statistics 1. This exam was taken in May June session 2023. Paper reference code is WSTC01 slash 01. Uh, let me start with this question number one here. And this question is taken from histogram. In this question, you will be able to understand how to use interpolation to find the median as well. Uh, let me read the statement first. The histogram shows the distance in kilometers that 274 people travel to work. The horizontal line is uh, giving you the distance traveled in kilometers and vertical line shows the uh, frequency densities. But frequency densities are not given. Best thing in these type of questions, uh, first of all, find the frequency densities by uh, using the given information. This is the best way to solve these questions. Given that 60 of these people travel between 10 km and 20 km to work, estimate the number of people who travel between 22 km and 45 km to work. For this, this is given here for 10 km to 20 km. And 60 people are there. 60 people are there. So to find the frequency density for this interval, there is a formula for it. Let me write that formula here. Frequency density formula is frequency over class width. So frequency uh, for this interval is 60. It is 60. And the class width is 10. From 10 to 20 class width is 10. So frequency density for this interval will be 6. 10 to 20 is this one. From here to here. So this will be 6. Now there are uh, Three small small squares here, big squares like this. Okay, uh, one, two, three, and it is giving you six. So uh, this will be four for sure, and this is two. Each square is representing two. This is two, four, and six. And then eight, ten. Let me complete all of this. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty. Okay, now go back to the question. Uh, we want to, to find uh, the number of people who travel between 22 kilometers to 45 kilometers. 22. From 20 to 30, there are 10 small squares. So 22 will be here. Uh, this one. This is 22. Okay. You need to find uh, from 22 to 45. 45 will be somewhere here. Okay. So first of all, uh, let me uh, write, uh, we can make formula to find the frequency as well by using this one, you know, just bring this class width over there, it will multiply to find the frequency. Actually, we want to find the number of people, number of, uh, finding number of people means you are finding the frequency. So for first part, by using the same formula, by using frequency equals to frequency density multiply class width we can find the number of people for the required interval from 22 to 45. Number of people from 22 to 30, uh, class width is here 8 and frequency density is 2. You can uh, use this, this row here, right? You can check it is 2. So class width is 8, 8 multiplied by frequency density, class width multiplied by frequency density, it will give you 8 multiplied for that interval. Plus, from 30 to 45, class width is uh, 15 and frequency density, maybe here you will face a problem. Uh, let me make it clear, uh, you know, 5 small squares, 5 small squares is giving you density 2, okay. We can use unit method like one small square, it will give you 2 over 5 for sure, and two small squares will give you this 2 will multiply 2 over 5, it will give you 4 over 5. So, two small squares are representing 4 over 5. So, this will be 4 over 5, or you can write 0 0.8. So, I'm writing as is, so it will that is your choice, you can write 0 0.8 as well. So, 4 over 5 will multiply by its class width that is 15. You know, this will be cancelled out. 4 multiplied 3 is 12. 12 plus 16 gives you 28. 
So 28 people are there. So this is the answer for the first part. Hopefully you understand. Now for second part, the median distance traveled to work by these 274 people. So total people are 274. Uh, best thing uh, for to solve the median, you can write the frequency, corresponding frequency for each uh, bar in his plan. Okay. Look here. The first one uh, here is the class width is five. You know this is five. Uh, multiply twenty. Let me use a different color over here. So twenty multiply five. So there will be hundred number of people uh, for this interval from zero to five. Okay. From five to ten, class width is five. And frequency density is 14, 14 multiplied 5 will give you 70. So there are 70 number of people here in this interval from 5 to 10. Same way for 10 to 20, class width is 10, 10 multiplied 6 is 60. So here number of people are 60. Let me erase this one. Uh, this was for just only for the previous part. Then uh, find the number of people from 20 to 30 uh, if the class width is 10 and 10 multiplied 2 is 20. So this will be 20. And for the last class, it is from 30 to 60 class width is 30. 30 will multiply, let me write over here, 30 will multiply by its frequency density that is 4 over 5. So this will be 6 and here 6 multiplied 4 will be 24. So for the last interval, it is 24 number of people are here. Okay, now if you add up all these frequencies like 100 plus 70 plus 60 plus 20 plus 24, it will give you for sure 274 people. Okay, uh, actually, this uh, this thing will uh, make your work easier, make your life easy. Okay, if you find the frequencies, corresponding frequencies for each class. Now, here is the way how to use interpolation. Let me write here to find the median. There is a formula for finding median. Median is represented by Q2. Q2, uh, to find Q2, first of all, you need to find n over 2th value. n over 2. There are 274 people hmm, divided by 2. It will give you 137. Okay. Uh, but uh, there is a rule to find the actual median. Best rule is that if you get a whole number, just add 0 0.5 to that number. Okay. Even though you can use the same value. And, and that will not make a big difference. You can write over here 137.5, 137.5 value will be the median. 137.5 value will be the median. Okay. Now, uh, here we already found the frequencies for each class. Look here, if you uh, write the cumulative frequencies for each class, you know how to write the frequencies for this class. Cumulative frequency, you start with the same, that is 100, and then you add up the next frequency, okay, 100 plus 70 will give you 170. So this is the cumulative frequency for this class, and 100 is the cumulative frequency for the other class. You can complete all the frequency, but no need, uh, let me tell you why, no need to complete it, because we found uh, that 137.5 value will be in this class. Let me go back. Uh, here I'm using the this color. It will be in this class. Got it? It is 170. The uh, 37th value will be in this uh, this class from 5 to 10. Okay. So how to use interpolation to find? Now we found the class where uh, the median lies. Median lies from in 5 to 10 from 5 to 10 interval, okay, it will be between this value from 5 to 10 and cumulative frequency is 170, okay. How to use interpolation to find the median? Here is the way, draw a line, a straight line like this, okay. Now we know that Q2 lies uh, in the class 5 to 10, you write 5 to 10 here at the end point of this line and then cumulative frequencies. Cumulative, the current um, cumulative frequency of this class is uh, 170, right, 170 over here, and the preceding class cumulative frequency will be 100. Preceding class frequency is 100, you can see this is 100, okay. Uh, hopefully you understand how uh, 
iTunes line and how to put the values over there. Here write the values uh, of the interval where the median lies on the top and at the bottom write the cumulative frequency over here and preceding cumulative frequency here, okay, at the lower limit of the graph. Now we know that uh, median is this value, 137.5 value. 137.5 value is somewhere here, you can write mention over here, this value is here, 137.5 value is here and median uh, you can represent by Q2 over here, okay. Now, we will use the ratio now, uh, ratio of the top and with the bottom. Difference of these two values, what is the difference of these two values here, Q2 minus 5, right in the numerator, divide by 10 minus 5 in the denominator. Got it? On the other side, you will do the same. Take the difference of these two values over here, 137.5 minus 100 and then you take the difference of these two. Same way, 170 minus 100. Then solve it for Q2. You know, this is 5. Hmm? And we can solve this one on the right side. So it will be Q2 minus 5 over 5 will be equals to 137.5 minus 100 is uh, 37.5 divided by 70. For sure, this will multiply over here. And then plus this minus 5 goes to the right side. It will be plus. So Q2 will be equals to 5 into 37.5 divided by 70. Okay, then plus 5 this minus 5 uh, becomes plus 5 on the right side. Then by using calculator, you will get the right answer over here. It will be 7.6823 significant figures. So this is the answer for second part. You can mention over here, this is the median. So second part is done. Uh, hopefully you understand the method uh, of interpolation, how to use interpolation to find the median. If you have any question, please write in the comment box. Your comments matter, okay? Now for the uh, last part of this question, we need to find the mean, mean distance. To find the mean distance, you have to find the mid, mid, mid points. You know, mid points will multiply. Uh, let me write a formula for you guys. Uh, when frequency is given there, that is uh, for the mean, it is equal to sum of f of x divide by sum of f. Sum of f, we already know that they are 274. But you need to find sum of f of x. What is x? x is the mid values. What are the mid values over here? Um, so let me write all this. Okay, this one is 2.5 for sure. Um, okay, it, and by, let me use a different color over here. So this mid, mid point is 2.5 over here. So this will be 7.5 for this class, 10 to 20, so 15 will be the mid value, 20 to 30, 25 will be the mid value, and uh, from 30 to 60, 45 will be the mid value, okay? So mid value will multiply frequencies and then you add them to get sum of f of x. Okay, I'm, I'm using this space over here for c. Sum of f of x you could find by multiplying midpoints with corresponding frequencies. We know the corresponding frequencies for this. So first midpoint was 2.5 and it will multiply by 100 the corresponding frequency for this one plus then you multiply 7.5 by its uh, frequency for this interval is 70 then the next one is 15 it will multiply by 60 the frequency for that interval let me go back and make sure it Uh, you know, this 15, 15 will multiply by 60, 25 multiply by 20, 45 multiply by 24, that's it. Plus, 25 will multiply by 20, and the last one, plus 45, will multiply by 24. And sum of f of x, by using calculator, we will get the answer as 3,255. Now, using the formula for mean, that is equals to x bar and sum of f of x divided by sum of f. 
So 3255 will divide by sum of f. We know they are 274. Solve it and uh, write your answer to three significant figures. So it will be 11.9 to three significant figures. So this is the answer for the last part. So this is all about question number one. If you have any doubt or any issue in this question, please write in the comment box. I will try to make it clear for you guys. Thank you.